When you're learning data structures and algorithms for the first time, there's a lot of new concepts and terms that come at you at the beginning that are highly interconnected, very related, but they are different and the subtleties between them are very important. So over the next couple of videos, I want to take some time, even though the videos are going to be short, uh, just to kind of start teasing apart the difference between all the different components that we have and how they interact with each other. The first two concepts that I want to tease apart are the namesake for this playlist, and they are data structures and algorithms, and we can see those as the language of computer science. It's what allows us to do our creative expressions or our computational thinking or our problem solving that we do within our field, and they are the fundamental building blocks of computer science. Now. Algorithms can kind of be seen as the verbs of that language, what our actions are going to be. And data structures can kind of be seen as the nouns of our language. So what are we acting upon? And obviously having your verbs and your nouns working together are going to allow you to express or solve problems in a grander sense. So yes, data structures and algorithms are distinct concepts. However, you can't really have one without the other. Yes, you can have a data structure on its own. You could just have an array, which is a, a simple data structure. But what are you going to do to that array? How are you going to manipulate that array? You need algorithms to tell us what to do. And if you had just an algorithm without any type of data structure, um, other than maybe primitive data structures, so a whole bunch of integers, then how are you going to store and manipulate large amounts of data? So yes, you can have them individually, but in order to maximize our effectiveness in terms of creative expression or problem solving, we need to find how algorithms and data structures work together and how we can maximize the, the qualities of both of them in order to achieve the problems that we're trying to solve. 